Thank you for joining us. This is BC Radio One News coming to you from the Republic of Ireland. My name is Evangelist B. We have a news. Ibos use Nigerian flag to do caricature today. Lai Mohammed have lamented that Ibos used Nigerian flag to do caricature on the day of Nigeria independence. The Honorable Minister of Information Communication of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alahaji Mohammed, Lai Mohammed, has lamented on the level of abuse the Easterners displayed with the Nigerian flag today being the country's 60th anniversary. The minister disclosed this in Abuja while briefing newsmen on the achievements and challenges facing the leadership of President Mohammed Buhari since 2015 till the death. There is a fire in the mountain. Nyangwodo should listen to this very news. He's not talking about IPOB anymore. He is saying Igbos generalization, universal statement, including those senators, those governors, and uh, every other person in the House of Representatives supporting them in one Nigeria, the generalization that the Igbos have used Nigerian flag to make an object of caricature. Let's continue the news in detail. We are so much happy to witness the celebrations of the nation's 60th birthday uh, anniversary and the innumerable commendations coming from all walks of life. You see, uncountable recommendation that every walks of life is commending them. That's what he's trying to say here for their good work. Commending the leadership of the role, the leadership role of President Mohammed Buhari since he assumed office in 2015. He said he's happy because people are congratulating them for the good work. Nigerians, you are seeing the good work. We are so grateful, he said, particularly for the for Nigerians who saw the need for a corrupt free president to mount the affairs of the nation and today Nigerians now wears a new look he said Alhaji Mohammed also commended the Nigerian Labour Congress NCLC for Listening to the President Mohammed Buhari, I thank the Nigerian Labour Congress for not allowing themselves to be used as a tool by the enemies of Nigeria to embark on their proposed strike, which could have drawn the country far back in achieving this this desirable result. So the labor union, as you know, the Nigerian labor union has been the enemies of the people. They have been the enemies of the masses. Nigerian labor union always proposing, always proposing uh, uh, to embark on the on, on strike. Whenever they propose it, the, 
the government will call them and give them bribe. And they will all go away. That proposal will not be carried out again. And this is the reason why people are not being paid. Pensioners are not receiving their pensions because of the corruption or corrupt organization of Nigerian Labour Congress. Let's continue. However, he took a swipe at the Easterners. The, I, the Igbo speaking part of the nation for using the Nigerian flag to make mockery of the nation at each 60th anniversary, describing it as one of the challenges facing the country and the present administration of President Mohammed Buhari. Now he terms that the using of Nigerian flag as a mockery, as a as a disgraceful, in particular that the Igbo speaking areas in the eastern Nigeria are the one. This is the divide and rule statement that the Igbos are the ones using Nigerian flag to embarrass and make object of mockery against the president and his regime. So, Mazen Nyangwodo and Ohane uh, Zendibo, the governors, members of House of Representatives and House of uh, and Senate and the House of Assembly of Nigeria, all of them that are from Igbo ethnic nationalities are included using the Nigerian flag to make mockery and uh, excluding the South-South because he said the Igbo speaking areas only. Let's continue. The only challenge we are facing in the country today are the Igbos, including Nyangwodo, Ike Kwere Mwado, Rocha Sokorocha, including Hopu Zodimba, including uh, um, all the governors, Devo Mahi, Okezi Bazo, and every governors in the eastern Nigeria. He said, other tribes in the Nigeria are peaceful, loving people, but the Igbos has proven and as well gone a long way in showcasing their hatred for one Nigeria. Now you can see that everything Mazen Nyangwode is doing is useless. Everything that Tony Nadi, Ankyo Briggs, Dr. Mefo, Professor Mefo, you are all called Igbos. And they said you hate Nigeria. You are among the... It's not talking about IPOB now. It is generalizing our monarchs, our monarchs, our governors, our senators, our members of House of Assembly, chairmen of local government in Igbo land, he said that all of you are the enemies of Nigeria. Have you seen that uh, your foolishness is now teaching you a lesson that nobody can tell you about? Do you see it? They are not talking about any other person. They said the Igbos in general. Let's continue. Today is supposed to be a memorable day in the history of our dear nation, Nigeria. But it is unfortunate some people who feel and have disguised, have dis distinguished themselves out to hate on the leadership of the country, turn it into a mockery and a, and a caricature 
by using the Nigerian flag to shut all manner of disgraceful or degrading videos and the pictures on social media that are capable of, te of tearing the good image of Nigeria into shreds. This is the beginning of wisdom. It shows that the IPOB work is hitting them. And if you are there, if you are there still ranting and not wanting to support this very noble cause, the train is moving and you will be left behind. Let's continue this news. He said, anywhere, situation like this calls for wisdom and foresight while handling such issues but my happiness today is that president muhammad buhari is not deterred nor moved by such attacks on the leadership because when he came into power in 2015 he promised nigerians the best leadership style that no leader has ever given to them and all of this he has fulfilled and still adding more. Nigerians, you can testify yourself. He said one of the things is that President Mohamed Buhari don't give a damn of all this uh, caricature video and disgraceful videos and pictures post with Nigerian Nigerian flag that Mohammed Buhari promised Nigeria of good leadership style and uh, free of corruption and that he has done it and done more than he promised. So if you are an Igbo man or a Yoruba man, you are listening to this very news. I want you to testify by yourself or prove to me or show anyone where the Nigerian government or this present administration have fulfilled this promise and done more. He said, again, let's continue. Nigerians are very happy. If you are a Yoruba, if you are an Igbo, if you are Dudua, if you are a Shekri, if you are, are you happy with his leadership? He said, Nigerians are very happy with his leadership in the same, in the sense that they might even wish him to be a live president if only the constitution would permit. Did you see it? The type of people they call this man liars, liar Muhammad, and he is a bunch of liar. This man have no shame to himself. This man have no remorse that he is government even by the outside world international community have classified this administration as disgraceful as the worst thing that has happened to africa and, Ni and nigeria in general and this man is lying against the citizens so if you are a citizen and you have been benefiting just like uh, mohammed lai mohammed said Come out in the social media and begin to show us whatever you have benefited from this regime or any sense or sign of good leadership you have seen. Please come and show us because myself, I have not seen any. Let's list the final, the, the, the final uh, segment of it. He has transformed Nigeria marvelously well by upholding the tenets of our democracy and transparency of governance he has given to Nigeria, he said. This is the final statement. So if you are one of the one Nigerianists, Muhammad, lying Muhammad, liar Muhammad, have the Minister of Information. You are Minister of Information. 
and social culture have said that you Nigerians have benefited a lot and benefited a lot from this present administration that Buhari, Muhammad Buhari, have fulfilled every of his promises to destiny that you Nigerians are wishing him the life president if the constitution permits it. As a Yoruba, as Igbo man, as a Jo, as a Shekri, as a Nang, as a Usa, as someone from the middle belt. The question is to you whether Ni Nigerian government have fulfilled the promises. All we are seeing every day is killing and murdering of people. Laya Muhammad can never comment or say something about the incense killing that is going on in Nigeria. Laya Muhammad can never tell people that Nigeria has been rated the poverty, the poverty capital of the world. Laya Muhammad cannot tell Nigerians that Nigeria has been rated as a terrorist organization, a terrorist nation in the world. Laya Mohammed cannot mention the mass graves, burning of churches, destroying of life, Fulamni herdsmen invading villages and towns, seizing land that belongs to people. As a Nigerian, I want to ask you again. In your front, in your present, the Laya Muhammad said that you have been benefiting from Buhari regime. Are you benefiting? Can you tell the world that you are benefiting? If you keep silent because of your wickedness or hatred of the struggle for Biafra, the day of judgment you will stand before God and God will say to you, get out of my side, you workers of iniquity. Because Somebody lied in front of you and you did not uh, oppose him. But one thing is for sure. One thing is for sure. For the first time in the history of my broadcast, a Yoruba woman commented in my webpage, uh, in my channel, say, God bless me. He said, I am a Muslim. I support Biafra and I support what you are doing. He said to me, do not worry that very soon these things will be over. We will achieve what we are. Have you seen it? The power of unity. The first time somebody, somebody designated herself or somebody presented herself to my channel and said, I love what you are doing. I am a Yoruba woman. I support Biafra. And we are going to work together to get our freedom. Is it not a marvelous thing? I said to you that I'm no longer going to criticize Yoruba people anymore. Because I have seen the new generation of Yoruba arising. The old Duduwas are arising. They are rising, they are supporting. I saw Bia France in South Africa joining Odudua and many other places. And this is what we must do. We are embarking in the unitary formation of this freedom revolution. This freedom fighting has taken another ground, has taken another shape. And therefore, we are saying to you, I am supporting you today. To stop castigating Yoruba people. I know that not every Yoruba will buy the idea. As well as not many Biafrans are buying the idea of secession from Nigeria. But we are the remnant. The remnant are people reserved by God for truth. We must stand with Yorubas. May we not con condemn. May we not 
as well begin to castigate Yorubas because we must thank Mazen Nandekan for all his efforts, all his strength, all his power, might, wisdom that God has given to him. Eloquency that God has given, a spokenness that God has given to him. And we also thank all the faithful IPOB members that are following him. Yes, I'm happy that this Yoruba woman commented on my video, on my broadcast. I love it so much. It means they are watching. Because I said in the other video, in the other broadcast the other day that I will stop castigating Yorubas because we are now working together. We are now, there are people is on the street and they are coming. And we are going to join them. We are going to team up. We are going to fight this battle together. And we are going to win. So you, Nigerian, one Nigerianist, you have heard the news that I have read out for you. Tell me how merciful you think Nigeria is to you. Lying in front of you. May God have mercy on us. But all I'm saying is that victory is ours. I hope the middle belt will join together and the houses will join together. That will bring to an end this Fulani Olugaki leadership. This, once again, this is a BC Radio 1 News. Even if you are a Yoruba person, you are today my friend, my brother, you are my sister, my mother. Yes, because your people have risen. They have come to their senses, and I pray that some other people in other ethnic minorities in Nigeria will join up, and some other Igbo people and Yoruba people who have not came in into this struggle will join. Mostly Yoruba Christians. This Christian station is for you and for Christian Biafra and Judaic Biafra, even if you are a Muslim, because this woman says she is a Muslim. I have a friend, one of my best friends in this country is a Muslim from Bangladesh. He knew me as an evangelist, but he loved me. He loved the way I talk, the way I do things. He said to me, you are very highly spiritual, because he knows every other Nigerian that are coming to his shop, and you know the way they behave, the way they talk. And he talked to me one day, say, I highly respect you because you are a genuine Christian. You are a genuine one. So I want to embrace whether you are a Muslim or so long as you are not supporting the people who are killing human beings. We are all brothers. I have said it before. Muslim, Christianity, Judaism shouldn't be fighting themselves. I have made this broadcast some time ago. They came from one family, one father, Abraham. Ishmael came from Abraham. Isaac came from Abraham. We must embrace one another. We need people that speak the truth to stand on the truth. That's what you need. And that's who I need in this platform. I don't need hypocrites. I don't need hypocrites. I need people like, like that, my friend. He said that any Muslim that are going to kill another, supporting so, uh, you are a man, Support somebody to go and kill somebody to go to heaven. Send your son and your daughter to go and, to go to heaven first. And you yourself go. So, we are now brothers. I thank you, sister. That very sister, I replied to her, God bless you. So, if you are a Yoruba from today, know you are my friend, my brother, my sister. My In fact, I said this some time ago. I don't hate Yoruba, but I hate some of the characters. Majority are not supporting good things, but now they are changing. The day I went to Lagos, the first time I went to Lagos in my life, it was a Yoruba family that took me. I was stranded on the road. I was stranded. My sister that I came, my cousin that I came to search for. Before I came, they have closed. I have no telephone. That time, no telephone, no nothing. I was stranded. These people saw me. They asked me, who are you looking for? They are Yoruba family. I said, I am looking for the owner of this shop. The man said, I am the landlord. Uh, who are you? I say, I am the cousin to them. They never knew me before. They have not seen me there before. They took me to their house. 
gave me food that night, gave me food in the morning before I left, and introduced me to my sister. So, we are one family now, and this is an end. We are coming to an end of this very short, very broadcast. I just brought you this news about Lai Mohammed lying to Nigerians and telling us he is blackmailing the Biafra, the Igbos. She, he is undermining, underrating all those uh, governors that are supporting them. They can see that every effort they are making to keep Nigeria is useless. It's not going to work because the people you are working with are, they are condemning you, blackmailing you, hate you. Lai Muhammad hated the Igbos because every time he wants to make statement of the uh, agitation, he generalized the whole Igbos, including all the monarchs that are supporting you. They can see that uh, they, they are working in vain. Once again, this is BC Radio 1 News coming to you from the Republic of Ireland. I am your host, Evangelist B. In case you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, it's called BC Radio 1 News. Please subscribe because I will be giving you, bringing you news in detail. And share this very broadcast to your friend, to Yorubas, to Ibos, Efik, Anang, Ibibio. Very soon we are going to be broadcasting in multiple channels, Facebook and all the rest of them. Thank you and God bless you. See you in the next episode. I am your brother, Evangelist B. See you tomorrow.